Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I am a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we're going to go over how to install and configure IBM Tivoli Composite Application Manager for WebSphere version 6.1 on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 3, or ITCAM for WebSphere for short. We will begin by first installing the ITCAM for WebSphere Managing Server. In order to start the installation, we need to verify we have a JRE installed for the launch pad to load. In order to do this, we will open up a new terminal and we will execute the command which Java, which will locate the path of a JRE if installed. We see here we have a JRE installed. The next thing we need to do is correctly set up our host file. In order to do this, we we'll first need to know our IP address. We run ethconfig on interface eth0 to do so and list it under the inet adder as a correct IP address. We'll open up a new terminal to edit the Etsy host file. So we will run vi on Etsy hosts and we will correctly enter in our IP address our fully qualified host name which we will make it itcam for wesphere dot mcl dot tech and just the short host name itcam for wesphere right quit and now we will need to restart uh, we will need to restart the network service once I get the command correct. After this has taken place, we do a ping on the fully qualified host name to verify the change has taken place. That's good. And then we also ping just the host name to make sure that is correct. Alrighty then. We are set to continue with the managing server installation. So now we will need to locate our installation media. And it should be listed under ITKM for WebSphere managing server. You will see a launchpad.bat for Windows, but we will use launchpad.sh for Linux. Now, this is a common installation launchpad for all, all the ITCAM components throughout the ITCAM installation. So you'll become very familiar with this. We'll click on Install ITCAM, and here it says Install a Managing Server, version 6.1. As we see here, the installation wizard is beginning. And here we are presented with the Managing Server installation wizard. We shall click next. I accept the terms. It's going to ask us if we're installing from a CD, which we're not, so we're going to need to define image paths. It's analyzing prereqs to see if we have a WAS installation or DB2 or if we have the correct resources to install the product. We passed. We're going to do a typical installation. We're going to always accept the, the default directory for all the components. It makes things easier. All right, here is where we select our ITKM username and password. Now this is for the managing server or also known as the application monitor user interface. Uh, we need to use an existing uh, Linux account that has root privileges. We'll just use root. makes things easier. Now 
Now it's asking where the DB2 installation image is located. It's looking for the file DB2 setup. So we will browse for that under root media DB2. DB2 setup, open, click next. It's asking us for the WebSphere application server WAS installation image. Uh, it's looking for an install file, which is under the WAS subdirectory. So that's helpful. So we'll go under root media, yeah. WAS. This is under the WAS subdirectory install there it is okay click next now it's asking us whether or not we want to generate a response file and what the res response file would be used for would be for silent installations so say you have to install this managing server on multiple machines then you can generate this response file so that you can do the silent installation without having to set these parameters over and over again so we will save the settings in response file. We will save it under root. We will call it ITCAM for WebSphere Managing Server uh, Silent. And it also has the option of bypassing the installation and just creating the response file but we do want to install the managing server so click next now here's the installation summary the important thing here to note is the db2 information with the db2 users admin inst and fence1 all the passwords for them are itcam610 the WAS user is root with the root account information and the managing server user is root with it, its account info as well. So now we click install and throughout the installation process we will see screenshots of the products uh, key benefits and this will be useful for just giving you a general look and feel of the managing server. Uh, so now it's a good time to take a break, uh, take some coffee, come back when it's complete, and we will continue the process. And the managing server installation has been successful. And it conveniently gives us the URL to launch the user interface. And we're going to launch it. So click finish. Click exit out of this launch pad. And it is launching a web browser with a URL of the user interface for the managing server. Going to verify that it is up and running and I can log in. And there you have it. Uh, Manager server is up and running, successfully installed. Uh, the next video will show how to install and configure the IT cam for WebSphere data collector. So we'll just log out of here. Quit. And that is the end of this presentation for how to install and configure IT cam for WebSphere managing server. Thank you.